Welcome to the University of Rochester and Coursera for what we think is a really exciting course. I'm Rob Clark. I'm Dean of the Hagem School of Engineering and Applied Sciences here at the University of Rochester. Hi, and I'm Andrew Ainsley, Dean of the Simon Business School. This course is built around a new program we launched here called the TEAM program, Technical Entrepreneurship and Management. And it's the root of what drove Rochester and its growth from the implementation of the Erie Canal, which brought industry here, to the major companies that were spawned here like Kodak and Xerox, Bausch and Loam, all from an entrepreneurial effort and the current day effort with optics companies, more than 60 optics companies. We really have to help engineers and business people get the language right between them and work together. And that's exactly why you see the two of us here. Somebody from the engineering school, somebody from the business school. We need to think about ways to get technical domains out to market. And that's exactly what this course is about. So come join our team for the next few series of courses. Thank you very much, Rob. Thank you, Andrew. We're here at the Erie Canal in Rochester, New York to talk about technology commercialization. Filtering new business ideas that rely on hard science technology. The Erie Canal is an interesting backdrop for this course. Building and using canals was huge in the United States from about 1820 to 1890. Four generations of investors, inventors, business entrepreneurs, and government officials were excited about canals. Canals created jobs, built personal wealth, and launched whole new communities. There's a lot of great interesting science, and biology, and engineering at our universities and our research institutions. But it's very, very difficult to turn that into products that someone actually wants or needs or that someone is willing to pay cash to purchase. Of course, there are a lot of reasons for that. One of the most common ones is that innovation lacks a rudder during that early concept stage. There's a poor steering system to help turn many ideas into a few, to force teams to address the weak areas of their ideas and improve them at the early stage when that's easy to do, and to prioritize the scarce time and money that exists in that concept stage. It's amazing how many entrepreneurs and corporate managers just start running after one idea without considering the bigger picture. Students will leave this course with an innovation creed and a customized idea filter, two foundational tools that steer concept stage commercialization towards success. Building an innovation creed forces entrepreneurs to delve into the most orienting question of all. Why are you doing this? The need for an innovation creed applies to any scenario, from garage startup to new product development to radical business development to mergers and acquisitions. The primary tool in this course, driven by the creed, is the idea filter. The top challenges that stunt technology commercialization will be presented and then built into an idea filter that helps guide those ideas moving forward. Trends come and go. Technology comes and goes. Right now there's a groundswell to revolutionize technology transfer. I happen to be on a cruise tonight with some students from the University of Rochester. They're just starting a program in technology, entrepreneurship, and management. They want to be part of this revolution. I want to bridge the gap between engineering and business. I want to learn how to turn R&D into real products. I want to find a job in new product and a new business development. There's a huge movement to improve the return on innovation and radically improve our ability to change science and biology and engineering into new products and new companies. Do you want to be part of this movement? <laughs>